Cases of danger to self or others and abuse of kids or vulnerable adults trump confidentiality every time. My most heartbreaking case was Tiffany. I was sitting on the floor with a six-year-old girl named Tiffany, playing with the Fisher Price house, and something triggered her to say, my mom's boyfriend puts his fingers in my pee, -pee and my mom pulls on his pee, pee at the same time. I said a very unprofessional, oh shit, inside my head. I'd had some training in forensic interviews with kids, how to avoid leading questions, and adopt a mildly curious attitude as we kept playing with the toys. I was trying my best to remember everything verbatim. She had a long list of deeply horrifying details. When she was done we kept playing until time was up. Thank God it was her dad who'd brought her, since the parents were divorced and it was his time. I couldn't have handed her back to her mother. As soon as she left I told staff I was going to be late for the next patient. I went back to my desk, took some breaths, and began to type the best transcript I could, offering no opinions. Then I called CPS and told the story. They reminded me they needed a written report in 24 hours. She was rescued at 11 pm the same day as my report. I later learned that a CPS team including police arrived at Tiffany's house at 11 pm that same day and took her with them. Experts learned that things were even worse than imagined. Eventually Tiffany was placed exclusively with her dad, and both mother and boyfriend were convicted of multiple felonies. I saw Tiffany a few more times before she fully transitioned to a specialist. It was decades ago, but I will never forget her.